in a round and a half. And it'll be interesting to see what penalty this draws from referee Dale Grable. He's going to deduct another point, I think, from French Nassim. Grable wants Soto's people out of the corner. Second point deducted from Nassim. Boy, it was power. Not short, Stop quick punch. counter punches punch either, but long, Three. looping counter punches punch. thrown from odd angles and delivered with devastating power. When he's off balance, he's the best there is. You give him some balance, and you may have him just average. Hard left hands by Hamed. And already, Soto has that look on his face that seems to say, well, I'd heard he was a hard puncher. Does not always deign to throw body punches, but seems to want to say to Soto, okay, I've heard you can punch to the rib cage. Watch this. And now Naz poses for a while before coming back to the corner. Soto trying to stay within a tight envelope and set up his left hook. Oh, and just missed with a big left hook there. Oh, it didn't miss. It hurt him. It flipped him. It slapped him real good. Hard left hook by Soto. And you saw the typically off-balance Hamed moved to the side by that punch. Now Prince Nassim comes back with an uppercut of his own. Soto trying to measure, get inside, and pin his man against the ropes and fire the left hook to the body as you saw him do twice there. Lots of problems. Naz landing a soft left. Soto trying to counter with a hard left of his own. Soto keeps his hands right in front of him. He jabs. Prince Nassim fans in the crowd chanting Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. Soto lunging as he comes forward. Naz getting a chance but missing. He's warning both fighters not to punch off the break and saying that the next fighter who throws a punch off the break is going to be penalized. But I'm not sure Soto knows what he said. And not only that, he's been warning too much. You can only do so many warnings. Off his head, off his head. Big left hook lands upstairs for Soto. Naz comes back with a right left of his own. Well, the only similarity between what Naz does and the traditional crunk style is that he has his hands low. Soto landing one to the back of Naz's head after a hard right hand drove Prince Nassim back. Boy, good body shots. Break, break! Stop it. Uh, now, the job gets tougher for Grable. Point. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Point. And the penalty is against Prince Nassim. Point. So one point deducted from Prince Nassim here in the fourth. I'm telling you, the referee has been doing too much of this stuff. I don't know who he deducted the point from. He deducted it from Prince Nassim Hamed. It was clear, Larry, he pointed to the Prince. And the he referee is looking for a disqualification. Stop! Stop! Arm punches by Nassim. He hasn't thrown anything with real power on it in a round and a half. And it'll be interesting to see what penalty this draws from referee Dale Grable. He's going to deduct another point, I think, from Prince Nassim. Grable wants Soto's people out of the corner. Second point deducted from Nassim. And if he rules it on sportsmanlike conduct, then the next instance of that could lead to disqualification. Harold Letterman, Harold Letterman, is Prince Nassim on the verge of a disqualification here? <laughs> you gotta love this, certainly he's close. I mean, he picked up Soto and body slammed him. If I were Grable, I would have done the same thing, Jim. He had to. What I don't think he had any choice. Times like this, you would like the commissioners to get in and have a little powwow with the referee and let him see exactly where he's coming from. And now Prince Nassim seems to suddenly have decided that he needs to take this into his own hands, and he begins to fire Great. heavy power shots for the first time since the third round. Good. 
super left hand by the Prince that time. He's finally finding his range with his power. Now an entirely different kind of fight here. Ahmed lands the left hook. And throws Soto to the canvas. Now wait a minute now. This was a hold on and fall down. Touch him up. Rabel agrees, yeah, that's and he chooses no penalty. And boxing is rough. But he's adept at staying within his envelope and fighting the way he wants to fight. Yeah, you definitely don't see, you never see the featherweights tying one another up as you're seeing tonight. He doesn't have a chance to throw another, so he... And there's the classic Nassim counter. Soto leaning in to try to land something, break, and Naz clocking him with break. a long left. He is a two-handed fighter. Sometimes you want to keep your fighter entertained by telling them to do things. You get bored out there, you're winning whenever you want. Then you put... That's a push. I don't know about that. That could have been a foul down. The guy misses and he hits the shoulder of the guy and he falls. Well, I don't know if that's a smart thing to do. Stop, stop, stop. Fucking head, stop. Some of Naz's rounds are very tough to score. And now, a point deduction against Soto for using his head. Bucks. So two penalty points have been levied against Nassim Hamed, one against Soto. Break! Stop punching! Stop punching! An exasperating fight. In round eight, the two fighters combined to throw 72 punches, but they only landed 10. The two Stop fighters punches. are averaging what? about 10 connects apiece per round. This is the gone with the wind of refereeing jobs. <laughs> <laughs> One, two for Hamed. Soto pummeling him to the body as the Prince comes in. You heard Emmanuel Stewart talking about what sensational shape Hamed is in. And the Prince does indeed seem to have a lot left physically midway through the ninth. I didn't think Shane Mosley was going to be able to do enough damage in the 10th round to knock out Wilfredo Rivera a few weeks ago, and he proved me wrong. Maybe oh. Naz can do this. The Naz came in with a slight uppercut this time. That hurt Soto. Well, in order to get a knockout, you just can't just get in the ring and get a knockout. The other guy has to try to knock you out, and you get him. Nassim, with his most spirited flurry in a while, lands two or three big punches. Break. Right up okay. I agree with you, George. I had Prince. doubts about the referee Break. early on. I think he's done Turned the best act. he could in a difficult circumstance. Maybe Soto and his corner believe that because of the two points deducted Break. from Hamed, this fight is close enough Break. for them to keep, just keep doing what they're doing. Break. There goes another one. That's about the fourth unassisted tackle for Nassim, and he helps Soto up. <laughs> And makes a show of it. So he just wants to go the distance and see what happens. Yep, he's satisfied with going the distance. Another tackle for both of them. Soto was headed down. Rabel's decided nobody's going to be disqualified. Okay. They're going to finish. One way or the other. From Soto. Naz pot shotting. Trying to land a few more power shots in the closing seconds. It's not going to happen. And here comes the chorus of boos. Stop, stop. Not one for the time capsule. For the winner and still undefeated from Sheffield, England, he is the WBO, WBC featherweight champion of the world. Prince Hasim Hamad.